He convinced the widow, who had lost her husband three years earlier, to give him over £9,000, which he promised to pay back on his return, but Adagan instead stopped contacting the woman after he had drained her life savings. Adagan, of Moston, Manchester, was found guilty by a unanimous verdict on Friday at Warwick Crown Court of possessing criminal property. Prosecutor Daniel Wright said the victim, from Leamington Spa, Warwickshire, fell for Adigan after joining a dating site in 2015. He said, she found herself getting lonely and, at the suggestion of a friend, she joined a site for widows. She was contacted by Dr. Marcus Harry, who said he was a 50-year-old male from Bristol who was working in Nepal, within a month. Adigan was asking for money, at first these were small amounts, Mr. Wright said, it began with a request over WhatsApp, asking her if she would mind getting him £50 of iTunes vouchers which he said he was unable to get hold of in Nepal. Two weeks later, Dr. Harry, told her he was planning to fly back but was unable to hold of the £1,000 for the flight so she agreed to send it to him on the basis that he would repay it. The victim also sent £50 to top up his mobile phone. Mr. Wright said he asked for £4,000 towards a fine for bringing gold into Dubai on his way back and would not be released until he had paid £25,000. The court heard the victim reluctantly transferred the £4,000 to the account of a co-defendant. He then persuaded her to pay a further £4,000 into his account, Mr. Wright said. The prosecution say that what happened was a fraud, that she was duped, so whatever money flows from that is criminal property, Adigan was bailed and will be sentenced at a later date.